now 6.20 a.m. and it's the first day of Project Boot Camp. I'm not going front. Looking up to 6.20 a.m. is not uh, the easiest thing for me. <laughs> but I'm about to get up, get some breakfast, and get ready for this run because that's what is on the schedule. We have to execute, execute, execute. As you can see, I'm wearing my skin shirt. to put in my skins today because we're playing the Kansas City Chiefs. And we're going to whoop on that. So, you can quote me on that when the game's all over. If they lose, just forget I said that, all right? But I'm about to get into all the festivities for today, which requires me to get some breakfast and go on a run. So, uh, yeah, I did boot camp. Day one starts now. I'm actually up a little bit earlier listening to a song I'm working on as of right now. Uh, it's too. Hola. Day two. Project boot camp yesterday. Uh, I had a couple things to do. I actually had to go to work. So that kind of took up a little bit of my planning, but I got a couple things done as right now. After I'm done listening to the song, I'm going to head up to the gym. These games real quick, now I'm saying, and then come back and follow through with the schedule. Let's give you guys a little look into that. Because yesterday there wasn't too much uh, fun stuff. I was just getting everything down pat. So you'll see me mess around with this guitar. As well as um, working on this song, um, ain't worry about a thing. So, gotcha. On the schedule, there are different things that say homework, and homework doesn't necessarily just mean like full sale homework. It also means like homework with studying. It's basically just studying and building up on my skill set. So as of right now, I dusted off my old Fender that I got about two Christmases ago. Um, I used to take guitar lessons back when I was about, oh, I want to say like 13. And I stopped going, so I never really built up on this skill. But now I'm getting back into it, and this month is definitely gonna jumpstart my uh, guitar skills. So I'm about to do a couple things to get my finger in down pat um, and get the calluses back on my fingers so I can play this like nothing. So, yeah, this is part of my homework, so I'm good. <laughs> Like there's a couple of them like that one wasn't as rich because there's some of them that are just like dull so what I usually what I'm gonna start doing is like whenever I'm practicing I'm gonna strum every single well I'm gonna pick every single uh, string to see what's um what's good and what's not you hear that that means I'm not on one too right so I'm gonna just adjust myself a little more that's what a lot of things just practice 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 um, so that's what this month is really about. Practice, 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 honing in on skills. But look, I got this two Christmases ago, but I haven't really used it. So like there's still plastic on like the little scratch guard. So I, I'm about to scratch this baby up as I practice. I'm just doing a lot of beginner stuff too. So like, don't judge. If you're like, oh, you suck. But like, don't judge. Your boy trying to get better. And that's what this month is all about. Getting better and executing and doing things on that basis. Alright, but right now I'm gonna keep finishing up on this and get the strumming all the way down with um, taking care of the business on here so I can definitely get a good hour on this guitar to practice out. I don't gotta show you guys that because you know it's gonna be a little boring looking at man who can't play guitar. But I got y'all with a nice video once I finally do. I'm about to get into a couple, um, let's get into a couple playing the piano a little bit. Alright, so I got a progression in my head. It's actually been from a song that I messed with, so I'm just gonna practice this so I can kind of get it down back if I wanna practice it. Alright, so I'm about to practice this chord progression I have for this one song I made about earlier in the week, and I did it in about an hour or so. Like, I uh, 
was just sitting down and I was just going in with this. But I got the chord progression written down and I'm actually gonna practice it because because a big thing of being a musician, well, at least I feel, is you should uh, play an instrument. So like I've been practicing the guitar, it's been uh, doing a number to my fingers because of pressing down on them strings. But uh, I hope some calluses come soon so I could be able to strum on that like real like smooth and be smooth with the guitar. You know, I'm looking looking to be the next Santana. You know what I'm saying probably not that crazy good, but I'm trying to be up at that level. But as of right now, I'm about to play these chords real quick so I can learn uh, my chords and always memorize all the chords in my songs because if I do want to do the acoustic versions or you know perform them, I don't just want to play with a, a MP3 in the background and you know I'm going off of that. Sometimes I want to jump on the keys and. Definitely show you guys I got uh, I got the talent behind that. So I'm about to work on this. This is the first song called well, Don't Worry About a Thing or Slow Dance. It's whatever. I don't know what to call it just yet, but a type of love song and stuff to kind of like teach the couples to like don't worry about adversity, don't worry about. So basically all these chords are, uh, they're neo soul type chords. So like I'm playing like deeper into the chord. So I have a, with like F major, which I have right here. I'm also playing like the seventh and the ninth when I play E and G, both of these. So like, it's like, so the bass note will be F and then the chord will be C, E, G. So we, and you're familiar with like how a chord's built up and we have A, C as a triad. So if like I played them all together, it's kind of a little muddy. So I just kind of kept it F, C, E, G, which plays the higher notes and you kind of get neo soul chords when you play higher notes like that. So. How rich that is, so it goes. Mm -hmm. One thing that got me really um, excited was I was playing with one of my friends one day, and they play piano. You know, he's a pianist, so like he was showing me. He was doing things with the uh, with the chords, or he's just basically moving around. Like what you're using is a uh, you're building up anticipation in a sense. Like you're gonna play some notes from like the the chord that either you just played or like one that is coming up, whichever one sounds more smoother. So like when I play this F, like the rest of this F chord, like I play the D that's coming next to give to give anticipation for this. So it's like goes. So I know I'm breaking it down. And this is everything you get when you, when you go to full so You start learning theory and you start learning all your chords and you start talking like a full-fledged musician. I didn't know any of this before I went to full cell, so. Oh. Kind of excited for you guys are are my full cell people that are going. You're gonna learn a lot if you come to school. So if anybody tells you it's a scam, those are just the people that did not use it to their full capabilities and did not show up and do what they should have done. So let me try to add these bass notes in because it's the fun part. Ah, about to rock out, finish this up, and progress with the rest of my schedule. So. Uh, Peace. I'm gonna give you guys more of the week as it goes through, but as of right now, all I'm doing is just kind of justifying the schedule, getting it all down pat as I go through it all. I'm gonna show you guys more of like the process on different things as I go from here, but like the homework and studying and stuff. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a rough look into like what it is all about, because this is what it is all about. It's all this right here. Uh, yeah. So, but anyways, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna take you guys on a run with me. I'm gonna run my three and a half miles and I'm gonna take you guys on a run with me. So you're about to have some fun with me on that basis. See where I go from there. See how I kind of pace myself in a sense. And uh, just see another aspect of this song. Because this whole project, like I looked at it now, it's a full, 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 full. It's a full project behind. It's around being really about enriching not just like your career and your dreams and all that. It's about like enriching you as a person. It's not just about chasing the dream of your career and like uh, bettering all of that. It's also bettering you as a person, just like physically, mentally as well. So like, this is gonna be dope. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks tomorrow with that run. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you straight up, I, I run for a good two miles and then like the last mile, it's kind of just like, oh man, it's will pushing me, but peace. Let me get back into this thing though. So, 
Tchau.